Hello and welcome to our session on how to make gift baskets with Mary Kay. I am sales director Javon Tapay and I also have Janine and Tamai here who are our assistants and they're going to just kind of watch as we go over some training on how to make gift baskets which you can use in your Mary Kay business for any season. We have Mother's Day coming up. Father's Day, graduation, weddings, Christmas, any type of season, Valentine's Day, you can make these gift baskets and customize it for your customers. And of course, the highlight of the product of the basket is the Mary Kay products. But in addition to that, you have little fillers that you can use to put in your basket. So some of the baskets I've already kind of put together here. Some of the supplies you'll need, of course, when you get your product. These little bubbles come in there. You want to save these because they actually go inside of whatever basket you're using. So, for example, here I got this little container here from the dollar store. And I put these bubbles in there, these little fillers. That's so that your product can sit up high. And then all you have to do is take, you know, the little colored tissue and kind of color coordinate, of course. And then just kind of cover up the little eggs so they can't be seen. And your product is going to sit on top of it, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But pretty much just make sure it's covered and tucked in, and that's how it looks. And then, of course, you'll put the product on top. So you want to save those. Um, some of the fillers that I use, I get everything from Dollar Tree. So these are at the dollar store. Um, you can get little candles that color coordinate with what you have. Um, this one I saw at the dollar store, it's like a little jewelry box or kind of holder or whatever, but it has something, you know, a little wording on it. And also I got this picture frame from the Dollar Tree as well. And basically I'll use this so that the products have something to sit up on and they're not falling over. So um, I already stuffed this one. This is just a little bag. This basket is silver. I got this at the Dollar Tree as well. And um, since I'm using purple, I put the purple tissue in there. This product is the Bolera Midnight, which is a current product. Um, these two, anytime the company has like limited edition products like lotions, body wash, you want to get them because they complete your set and you can use them for any time. So this one's a body wash and a lotion, which is it was a limited edition product, but I made sure I got extra so that for Mother's Day and graduation and everything, I always had, had them available. So using the shrink wrap bags these are the shrink wrap dome bags they're perfect because all you have to do is open the bag put the basket in there and i like to put the basket in before i put the products in so that way it's not tumbling over and falling all over the place and just put it right in there And I usually, of course, line the sides up with the side of the basket. But you won't even see it once that time, once you put everything in there. And then what I'll do is I'll take and put this in. Now, what I'll, I'll face it backwards so that way there's presentation on each side of the basket. So if they look from the back, they'll be able to see this little picture. And when they look from the front, they'll see the product. So what I do is I used to kind of play with it and see how I want to arrange everything. If it doesn't look right, like now I'm looking at it, this may not. i see how it works. I may have to turn it around, but we'll see how it works. I just usually play with it for a little bit to get the products arranged so that it looks really good in the basket. And then I use what's called these glue dots. Amazing. You don't have to worry about the glue gun anymore. Mm -hmm. This keeps everything from falling over. It keeps everything in place. And you always want to take your product out of the box. So that gives it, you know, more of a presentation. It looks really good in the basket. Um, and another note, <laughs> this happened to me before. When you're using candles, make sure you don't leave your baskets out in the heat. Because <laughs> they will melt. <laughs> okay. I've had a couple baskets to melt on me uh, with the candles in it. Okay. And I was like, uh-oh, what do I do? So I just had to redo that one, of course, because it fell out. And then, of course, you can, you know, use different little fillers. Just so the basket won't look so empty, you can always add little fillers to your basket. 
so it wasn't it won't look too empty and let's see here. Um, oh, I'm gonna use this one because this goes with the color scheme and what I'm gonna do is just kind of arrange it a little bit And because it's a shower gel, the little loofah goes perfect with the theme um, of what's in the basket. So now I'll take the glue dots and just glue everything in there. So as I'm traveling or going out to go and sell my basket, it won't get, you know, it won't come apart and fall. I usually glue everything, put the glue dots on everything so that it's not, nothing has a chance to fall. But... Um, with the shrink wrap, the shrink wrap is going to really hold it all together anyway. But this is just to reassure that you don't get there to deliver your product and it's all flip-flopped and fell over. Because I've had that to happen when I first started making baskets. I wasn't exactly sure. You know, everything's a learning process. So mm -hmm. that was something I learned to use these blue dots. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gluing everything in here. I'm gonna put a little piece at the bottom here and glue this into the basket. So it won't fall over. And I'm also going to show, for those who may not be as crafty and you don't even like doing baskets, the best thing is to get bags. So those are so easy. All right, so now that we have that in there, so I'm gonna add, this is some little, like little flowers. Just add that in there just to give it some additional color. I'll just stick it back here. Put another glue dot on it. And of course you do add these, um, kind of upcharge a dollar for all of the additional add-ons that you put in your basket. Now the other thing is, oh, it's a little shred. It's always good to use iridescent shred because it goes with everything. You don't have to have all these different colors. But this just kind of gives a little bit extra color to your basket. You don't need a whole lot, just a little bit. And just kind of sprinkle it in. And what I do to close it up is I'll take just a string and you can get the roll of string from the Dollar Tree as well. And this just helps me to be able to close it all up. When you're working by yourself, it's a lot easier to do, to have something to hold it up for you. And just kind of gather the bag. Try to put most of it towards the back so that it won't dribble up in the front and cover up the product. And then I'm just going to tie this little string around here. And then before I actually seal it all together, I'll just look at it. Uh -oh. It's kind of falling a little bit. So I'll just kind of straighten it up. So the next thing is we're actually going to seal it with the blow dryer and any kind of blow dryer um, will work the kind that you use for your hair you don't have to go out and buy a hot bag you know one that's specifically for shrink wrap because that'll cost you too much you don't even have to worry about that just a regular blow dryer you have at home and I usually start from the bottom You don't 
don't want to go too close because it can burn it. So just, you know, constantly move it around. And then um, I got these from the dollar store as well. So you can just take some ribbon. These are the ones that come already on the string, on the, uh, they come all like kind of stapled together. And you can just find something that kind of color coordinates with what you have and just tie it on there. just to kind of make it really big. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if I mentioned this already, but of course um, you want to put your labels on the product. And I also put one on the outside of the basket because I've had people that never open up their basket. They just like it. They think it's so cute. They don't open it, but they want to know how can they order another one. So I always took, take and put the label on the back outside here. And that's one example there. Yeah. All right, so the next one I'll show is real easy. Just make sure the video is still going. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'll show is the simple one, a gift bag. Get these from the Dollar Tree. Get you some tissue, and you can just um, put the product in the bag. Make sure you have your label on the product. And this one also um, was a limited edition pedicure set that we had. So this is extremely good for, you know, summertime gift. You can even use it just like this because this is a perfect way. Well, you could just put like a nice little bow on it and go like that. Or you can put it inside a gift bag so they can feel like they have something to open. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, I'm also going to add a nail polish to it because, you know, it's a pedicure set. So, hey, put the nail polish with it. And just so they can feel like they're pampered, this was at the Dollar Tree as well. The little eye mask. So that way they feel like they're, you know, really getting their pampering on. And then all you have to do is put you some tissue in there. And you have a gift ready to go. You don't have to worry about gift wrapping it. It's already ready. And it's tissue in and another tip as well is um, a lot of times people forget to buy a card mm -hmm. Mother's Day card so you can pick some up while you're at the Dollar Tree and they include it either as a gift with purchase or you know sell it to them you know for a dollar or 50 cents or whatever with their gift mm -hmm. so that way you, that you really are a one-stop shop and you have a gift nice and easy that was really quick. All right, now we don't want to forget about the men. So we also make baskets for men as well. And I used to get like manly stuff. So these are the little goggles that they have at the school, um, glasses for when you're doing their work, a flashlight, and then of course, a screwdriver is really good to put in there. And why not a picture frame so that they can put the picture of their wife or children or whoever. So we're gonna do the same thing, of course, with the men's product, with the gift bag, the shrink wrap bag, and we'll put the product in there. I just kind of used blue since it was kind of to go with the ribbon. And the baskets came from the Dollar Tree as well. Sometimes you kind of go to different ones to get, they might not have all of it and everything you need at one location, but the Dollar Tree is the best place to get anything you need. All right, so we're gonna set this one up here.
And then I'll just put the... shreds in here for the men as well not too much because you know we want to feel manly <laughs> we don't want them to feel a little yeah. feminine <laughs> just a little bit for them and let me go ahead and put a couple glue dots to make sure it all stays This one up with the string as well. And that works good, especially when you don't have somebody else to hold it for you. You mm -hmm. can just use the string, I double it, and then just wrap it around. And then I just close it up. that there's a little air in here so I'm just gonna squeeze it out before it closes all the way it shrinks all the way up For the men, I'll just do like the blue and silver to go with the color scheme here. And I've even had customers to say they wanted to customize it by adding, you know, maybe a piece of jewelry or, you know, something special themselves and that's definitely something they can do as well to add to it but here you go and another thing is that you notice i didn't put happy father's day in here because for example if it doesn't sell for father's day mm -hmm. this is ready to go for christmas or whatever next you know next event that you need to sell it for so i try not to put too many specific holidays inside the basket i might if there's like a balloon or like a little stick or something um, sometimes they'll have like these little sticks like this and they might say happy mother's day happy father's day or something like that and you can just add this there so if you don't sell it for mother's day throw the stick out move mm -hmm. on to the next holiday so those are real easy all right so the next one we'll do is i'll show you one with two instead of the actual shrink wrap so i got this little container in the gardening section at the dollar tree and I'll use the Thinking of You products here, which was is the lotion and the perfume. And I'll use this little stick here because it kind of goes with the colors. And I got this from Michaels. And you could use, I you know, I just usually get a large piece and then just cut it up for 
whichever particular piece I'm using. But I don't use this one this too much just because it doesn't secure the products as much as the shrink wrap. But sometimes I just like to have a little versatility. So I do use that sometimes. So I'll go ahead and set this one up and just kind of play with it before I put it in there and see how I want to organize this one. Which that looks like how I'll probably leave it in there. And then I'll put the glue dots, and stick everything together. And I've already labeled all the products, so everything is labeled already. And another thing, just as I'm talking about this, I always let the person know who's purchasing the gift, know that this gift comes with a free pampering session. So let me go ahead and get the name and number of the person that you're buying this gift for, because I want to go ahead and schedule their free pampering session. And that's a gift from you to them. Mm -hmm. So I make sure that they know that up front that, hey, look, this is something else that comes with your gift. Let me go ahead on and schedule, uh, get their name and number so I can schedule their appointment. And also see how they like their gift because all of our products are 100% satisfaction guaranteed. So I want to make sure that they like the gift that you got them and that they're not, you know, um, it's not something that they aren't using. And another tip as well is I try not to put makeup um, glamour products in the gift bags, baskets, because glamour is something that's very specific and it's a little bit harder to sell something like that on the go. Mm -hmm. um, what I would do is, and I'll show you that one in the next, next basket, is um, like the cleansing bar, because that can go for any skin type. You don't have to know their skin type to use the cleansing bar. And like the skin invigorating brush, because everybody can use that doesn't matter you know their skin type for that so those if you wanted to do some type of skincare that's a good item to use for skincare all right so I'm just gonna take this tool and gather it up here And I'm still going to go back and add a little shred as well to this one. And then you just gather it all up. And I'll just tie this one together as well. And then I'll close it up with the bow. Now I'll just cut some of this extra tool off, but not too much because it does look good and it's kind of puffy and full there. And this is a great gift for a wedding or a bride. You know, it looks really nice um, for that occasion. So something you can definitely use for that. Now these curlies are a good alternative. In the next basket, I'll show you um, what's called the pull bow and those are really easy too if you want like a bow a bow look on your basket mm -hmm. those are really nice um they come in different colors mm -hmm. um, but i usually kind of stick to like gold silver red mm -hmm. you know those kind of simple colors that you can go with everything it doesn't have to be too too specific because mm -hmm. you can buy them in bulk have a few of the little strings hanging out here so I'll just kind of curl that with it. And you can always kind of pull it up a little bit if it, yeah, tighten it up a little bit. 
And then if you have any pieces like this little piece in the back hanging out, you can always just tuck it in. And you're ready to go. And if you wanted to add something like this that goes with it, you can always stick that in there. Just to have something extra is optional, but just to kind of show you what that looks like. That's nice there. All right, and then another one I'll show you is um, this one here. So, so this one is the one I was talking about with the skin invigorating brush and the cleansing bar. You can definitely use that because anybody can use those products. And then of course, they call you for their moisturizer because that's what they need to have with it is the moisturizer. And that one you can customize to their skin type. This I got from the uh, gardening section as well. And it was just a little creative basket. It's actually a plant holder, but you can use it as a basket. And always take the tag with it too. And this becomes so much fun. Like it, it's, it's like a little stress reliever to make the baskets. And then on top of it, you can make some money and sell them. So, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Even better. Yes. And I also found this at the dollar store as well. So I'll use that one for this basket just to kind of put something else extra in the basket here. I do take the skin invigorating brush outside of the box so they can see what it looks like. And they can see that the batteries come with it. And I'll just put this paper back in there. Just throw this loop up in here. And sometimes as you're doing your baskets, you might notice that it looks full already. Because I had I purchased um these gloves and gardening shears to go with it, but it's already pretty full as it is, so I don't think I need to add anything extra because it'll just be way too much stuff in the basket. So this is pretty good the way that it is here. And I'm just gluing everything with the glue dots to secure it in place before I shrink it. And also, too, I usually um, go ahead and put a label with the price of how much I'm targeting to sell it for. So that way, as I'm out and about, I don't have to try to calculate it. I already know how much the product costs, how much the add-ons cost. So that way, I, I know how much I'm looking to um, sell the basket for. And then, of course, you know, you can always, as an independent consultant, you can negotiate the price if you want to reduce it a little bit. Or give somebody a deal, you know, have some room to negotiate if you want to. And actually with this one, I'm going to use the pull bow. So I'll show you how this works. This bow is so easy and quick. All you do is pull the string and you have a bow. <laughs> it's so easy. And then what I usually do is just tie a knot to hold the bow together. But... Simple, easy, quick, anybody can make a bow and have a cute one. And some kind of way this one just knotted up on me, but. Okay. So I'm gonna actually use a piece of this to tie it together.
So for um, some places that are easy to go to sell your baskets, of course, is um, barbershops because men don't really like to shop. So if you can bring the shop to them, mm -hmm. you have already made them happy. <laughs> they don't have to worry about going to the store mm -hmm. and finding a gift. You already have it all put together and they'll say, you just ask them, how many do you need? Mm -hmm. Make sure we get your baby mamas, mm -hmm. aunties, cousins, <laughs> everybody mm -hmm. needs a gift. here just to close it all up there and then just tie it to the basket so that it stays there and we don't have to worry about it moving and then I'll just pull the curlies here the little string that's left And there you go. You can add, if you wanted to add another bow, you can, but it, it looks fine just like it is. If you just wanted to add something else, you could, but I think it looks really good just like that, right? So, perfect basket, ready to go. And then the final basket I'll show you here is just this little tin can I got from the dollar store as well. I already put the little tissue in there. And I'll use this eye mask bag for this one. Um, some little flowers. In this basket, I'm using the two-in-one shaving wash as well as the hydrating lotion. This is, you know, nice soft smell. It doesn't have like a strong fragrance. And razor since it's shaving wash. Perfect. Real easy to go. Uh, everything came from the Dollar Tree as well. And as you notice too, that the bag size doesn't matter because it, it shrinks down to anything. Mm -hmm. So I usually get this larger size because it fits bigger baskets and then you can also use the smaller baskets with no problem. because you can't see it from the front here. So I'll just put it in the back with the picture frame. With some little flowers here. And you can even add one of these too if you want to, or if you just leave it like that. I'll just put it at the bottom here and put that on top of it. And I'll put the glue dots to get everything together. Sometimes it gets stuck on your fingers. <laughs> mm -hmm.
And then, of course, the little iridescent shred goes in there. And I usually put some in the front and in the back, too, just so that it has something all around. And then my little string, I just pull it in half, and then I pull the string through when I put it around. Just use this little silver bow here. is our gift basket 101 and I will also post a link to a sheet that actually has some of the products that I use here and websites to order like the shrink wrap bags the pool bowls and that kind of thing so I hope you enjoyed it I hope that it helps you make lots of money during any season in your Mary Kay business lots of love bye